Well, that's what I asked him to do. Um, number one, I asked him to take away threes. We didn't do that. But number two, um, on the offensive end, I asked him to let us see our system, and I think we did see that. You know, we had to make some adjustments against their Princeton. I'm actually really excited we got to play against Princeton um, in an exhibition game before we have to play against it for real because some of our young kids, they don't quite understand all those concepts yet. So, um, but, you know, I thought CBU did a really nice job on the boards. I wasn't pleased with our board performance. Um, I thought our shot selection was decent um, at times, but we still got to find Elmo and Cheyenne a little bit more than what we did. And then I thought in the second half we got a little fatigued. We weren't nearly as committed to a full court defense as I would have liked to have us been. And I thought our um, I thought we broke down a little bit offensively in the second half when we just went instead of going to calls we went to our straight continuity offense. And I thought we were a little sloppy in that, but. Hey, we put 83 points on the board. We kept it in 50. It doesn't mean anything. But what it does mean is we got a few reps and we got a little bit of video. How about Alyssa Dean? She's only played the four games in Spain in the last, what, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. well, it looked very well out there. Well, she did. We're hoping that she can put some of those threes in the air this year. Um, she's a great combo guard for us. She knows how to... Um, you know, she knows how to find the bottom of the bucket at, from the three-point line. I think she's going to be a reliable backup point guard for us also, and we're going to need that. We just, you know, she doesn't have much experience, but she has a little bit more than some of the other guards that we have coming off the bench. I know some of your post players uh, gave you some good minutes tonight. A little foul trouble, that's to be expected from some young ones, but, but they did pretty well out there. And I talked to Cheyenne, I know she's happy to have a little help down there this year. She is, and I thought Jasmine James in the second half really went to the boards, and that's critical for us. We've got to have more rebounding. Um, we've got to get Elmo to the board. We've got to get Jasmine James to the boards, and we've got to get Elena Davis to the boards. Um, I'm a little concerned about, about Bird. You know, she went down. We can't afford to have anybody else go down. We had Damo go down yesterday, um, and we, ju we just can't afford it. We can't have any more bodies go down. So we'll have to see what that's about tomorrow. But we think it's hopefully just a – it'll be a significant sprain, but hoping, hopefully no more than that. But overall, I was I – was, Please, but we certainly have a lot to clean up. Okay, you have just a little less than a week. Tennessee State out of Nashville comes to the town, yeah. and then State team coming to the field house to start it for real. Yeah, and and they're going to be no different than CBU. You know, they're um, they're coming to Memphis. Uh, that's going to mean something to them. It's got to mean something to us as well. We begin putting wins and losses on the boards, and uh, and I don't know much about Tennessee State yet. I got to be very honest. They lost a lot of personnel. And, and we don't know much about them yet. So we're, we'll go into that game a little bit blind because uh, as some people, they're going to go in a little bit blind against us except for Elmo and Cheyenne. So uh, we'll have to uh, look at some of their system stuff this week. We'll have to review some screening scenarios. But I mean, it's, it's time. It's time for the season to be here. I would love to have another month to get ready. But it is here, and our kids will. Our young kids will learn better in game situations than they will in practice at this point. So it's time to tip it up. Let's play. All right, coach. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Jeff.